35192 to send me a text. I'll have another $1,000 for you to text and win right around 2.30, about 10 minutes from now. Comedian Bobby Kelly going to join us a little bit later on, around 3.20. Uh, he's doing shows at the Winchester. He and Bill Squire on That's Valentine's right. night. Mm-hmm. And then Mary Santora going to be down in Cuyahoga Falls. Mm-hmm. I'll be at the Funny Stop Comedy Club all weekend. Yeah. Is that where the funny stops? No, the funny starts why at the they funny call, stop. Why don't they call it the funny start? I don't you know. stop for funnies. Uh, oh, that's you where stop you stop there. for the funny. For the funnies. Funnies. But the funnies start yeah. there. I yeah. see. We're actually doing um, two-for-one tickets to the funny stop for tomorrow's show, Thursday, um, and Friday late show. So Friday, 9.30, and tomorrow at 8 p.m. if you call 330-923-4700 and you use the promo code WMMS. If you don't get that, it's on all my social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Mary Santora Comedy. It's all there. So what were you going to say, Bill? There's also two-for-one tickets for Bobby's show on Friday, since, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah. You can get uh, the tickets for $20 or two for 30 There you which, go. what a deal. Right. And I know there's nothing more romantic than saving $10. Right. Exactly what's going to happen. So if you uh, are lonely and you're like, hey, I'll just buy two tickets and then do the, hey, I have an extra ticket thing. That usually works mm-hmm. on a dating app or whatever. So what did you get you for Valentine's Day? Two for one tickets? He did, they don't have to know that they're two for one. You could just be a little surprised. Laughter is a great, great Valentine's Day gift. There are more people asking me how your sex auction went last night. Sex auction was fun. Um, it was a good time. We had we had a lot of fun. Uh, it was uh, pretty full, too, so thank you to everybody who came out for that. Um, Mike I, Polk was auctioning Mary off last night at Hilarities. Wasn't for sex. It was for love. Um, but yeah, it was a fun little dating game type of deal where I couldn't see the guys, and we did the questions and everything like that. Um, any, any promising candidates? Well, the guy I ended up picking was actually on Bill's Polar Blast team. That's right. So we met Friday... And Bill was like, oh, what do you think of this guy? He's kind of cute. Because he and checks all the boxes for what you look for in a exact guy. Exact stature. So yeah. they had a ringer. So Well, I didn't know that he was going to be on this. Gross. They didn't pick the um, They didn't pick the, the daters or the bachelors or whatever until Monday night. So it wasn't like when I met him Friday that I knew he was going to be on the show. Uh-huh. Or even that he knew. Um, so I ended up picking him, which was kind of like, you know, when I'm, oh, serendipitous fate, whatever, whatever. And then um, the more we get to... T- to talking it was nice he was cute he was like a little country boy and um i'm nosy so at the end of the night we were going through the um the comment cards so i was like oh i wanted to see what people said and actually i found his comment card and he requested that the club had cheaper beer and i thought that that was kind of funny but then the waitress informed me that he walked out on his tab that he didn't pay for the beer that he did order the guy that you picked uh-huh so that was kind of a How many beers did he buy? Bar. He only had one. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe it was a misunderstanding. Sounds like a $19 tab. It was a $5 tab. Oh. Well, and he was complaining the beers should be cheaper than $5? Yes. At a club? And then he didn't pay for it. Oh, then this ain't guy ain't going to spend any money on you on a date. Or he will and won't tip. He's going to be, be getting rude you, to the server. He's going to or... be getting you two for one tickets to see <laughs> Bobby Kelly and Bill Squire. Or Mary Santora. <laughs> or whatever. Get free tickets. You know? So that was a bummer because I was like, oh, we kind of met and we like didn't, we talked, but we didn't, blah, blah, blah. And then, I, it was kind of weird that I ended up picking him, and then I'm like, well, that sucks, dude. You're just going to... Maybe he didn't realize that he did. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he was with someone. And maybe he, was... he brought a friend with him. Maybe yeah. it slipped his mind. Maybe yeah. he thought the other person got him. I can't but... imagine anybody walking and on a $5 bill. he participated in the show, bill. which I think if you participate in the show, they probably should have comp- comped him the drink. But nobody expects that. Even comedians right, don't expect for their things to get should. comped. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, yeah. but you don't know that going in as a regular civilian. Yeah. And for him to comment that he wished the beer was cheaper and then not pay for it, those two kind of go hand in hand to me. I mean, $5 for a beer at a club sounds cheap to me. For, yeah. I don't I mean, go I out agree. very often, but that sounds inexpensive to me. Yeah. Well, so that was a bummer. And yeah. that was a major turnoff. So that was one of those where I'm like, oh, well, maybe not then. Huh. Yeah. All right. So does that mean then that you go to the valedictorian that falls out? Does that mean that you go to the number two slot? The or? salutatorian? Yeah. You had to pick one or? I, well, now was the primary question among the other two, and you'll know this for next time. There's a Mary Santor sex auction. It's not a you know, sex auction. <laughs> d- d- have you ever walked out on a on a bar tab? That should be yeah. That should be it. How do you t- treat servers and what bartenders? questions did you ask them? Um, the questions These were, were prepared for me. Oh. I did not prepare the questions. Um, but there was like, what do you think your best physical feature is? And you know the basic things like that. Then there was, um, have you ever cheated on anybody, or have you been cheated on? If so, boy, that really jumped up a notch. Explain mm-hmm. the circumstances. <laughs> I um, think my smile. 
and then I don't smile anymore because my wife did cheat exactly. on me. Exactly. That kind of thing. Um, there was, I'm not um, saying mine did. It was the other way around. I like my nose a lot, and I have uh, a whole other family in Montana. <laughs> it was I like 50, my nose 50. and the Cheesecake Factory parking lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Bill Squire on Twitter is on fire. Mm. With the Baker Mayfield tweet. <laughs> Thank Is you. it going crazy? It, it's like a thousand likes. Oh, wow. Nice. Is it a thousand? I haven't Bill Squire it. tweets, listen, ladies, if I ever invite you to meet me by the Cheesecake Factory, you better believe we're getting some cheesecake. <laughs> that is it a, just seems like the gentlemanly thing to do. Right. Yes. It is. It mm-hmm. absolutely is. Yeah, a lot of people have asked me why I haven't commented on this whole Baker Mayfield thing. I will be quite candid with you. I simply don't care. Right. Second of all, it seems like it was pretty well covered in the morning. Yeah. Thirdly, none of it, I, to the best of my knowledge, has been confirmed. And fourthly, I I still don't care. Right. Yeah. Well, so it's, you know. If you want commentary from me, check out the new episode of Flicks and Bill, because me and my buddy Brian Kenny and Ryan DePerna, we talk. You break it down. Yeah, we kind of break it down, because we're talking about the Aaron Hernandez documentary, which leads to football talk, which leads to some Baker talk. So there's a good... Uh, chunk of baker talk in there and it's pretty funny aaron hernandez hey, censored aaron hernandez was a football player uh-huh he wasn't just a gay escort gay thug gay oh. thug murderer sorry gay yeah. thug homo thug oh. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. you can call him that i can't call him that <laughs> why is your chair so high Who's? My chair's okay. homo. Okay. Y'all right. come in here and change this i don't change, I don't anything. change anything in there but you're, you're just out of frame who is changing the height of Pound Cake's chair the when we're not mystery. here. Yes. Forget what's your best physical feature and have you ever been cheated on. Have you ever changed the height of Pound Cake's chair? Do you know how you went the wrong way? He went up or down? He went down. Oh. You wanted him to go up more? Yes. The camera, not the chair. Yeah, the camera. He wanted oh, the camera. The camera. Yeah, so I could see. Let his. me know when. I want to see your pretty face. All right, you're good now. I don't want to see But yeah, last night face. was fun. Mm-hmm. Last night was fun, and then th- that was a bummer to realize that... And like you said, it could be a misunderstanding, but yep. to bitch about the prices and then not pay, that, that seems to be a uh, not a great not a great thing. Okay. And then uh yeah, two for one tickets to the funny stuff. Well, <laughs> if that if that guy is who was texting me, he said that that was his friend's beer and he thought that he had paid for it. He oh. said that he drank water. Oh, maybe. Because the server told me she was like, "Hey, and this is that why she came up. Well, that's you get into trouble." Been a misunderstanding by hurling accusations. I didn't hurl un- accusations. I mean, everyone. The server unfounded said, accusations. The server said that guy did not pay for his beer. I would trust the server. I've known her a very long time, so that was just All what right. it was. With this new information, does that change the way? You- now you're. Are you going to go on an actual date with him? I don't know. That was the thing that I told Polk going into this. I was like, and, and this is taking a, a dumb dating game You're under no seriously. obligation. I understand that, but I also told him, I said, for the first time in a very long time, I actually am happy being on my own. And I've said that in the past before, but it wasn't 100% true. When you stop looking, that's when you find it. But I don't want to find it. <laughs> like, I'm really happy doing what I'm doing, and I'm having a great time just kind of living my life. So I don't, I feel Did bad. Did you get his number or anything? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, we're in contact on Instagram, but um, it's one of those where I'm like, I feel bad going on a date with somebody when I have really no interest in finding a future with them. I think that that's unfair. You don't want to waste their time. Right. I'm not going to waste... If I don't think that I'm in a place or I don't really want to have a relationship right now, I don't think that that's fair. And I told I told Polk that going into the dating game. And he's like, it's all for fun. You don't have to go out with anybody, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to say but he probably... Did win, he did he win. He was on my team. And he was on your team. And he is... Check, he checks all the country board boxes you like. <laughs> right. So maybe give him a chance. But I, but I don't think that that's fair. Why go out with somebody if I don't want a relationship right now? To get to know him. But I don't. Why? But because Getting maybe, to know someone maybe leads it just to becomes, a relationship. But what if it just becomes a friendship? I don't need any more platonic male friends in my life. That's I think that that's true. You are, you are, true. You are neck deep yeah. in platonic male yeah. friends. hundreds of platonic mm. male friends. I don't need another one. Yeah. And that's not what it would be. Under all the pretenses and all the ways that we've met, he is not interested in a friendship with me. Okay. That's all. Zero point <laughs> zero. Just give him the box just once. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. I've got uh, $1,000 for you to win here. It's a chance for you to go fund yourself every hour about 30 past. Good luck.
Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at $1,000 now. Text the nationwide keyword CRAZY to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's CRAZY to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. So, um, okay, did you meet him, like, at the end, of, w- w- on the mountain, or afterwards? Afterwards or in the lodge. In the lodge. Yeah. Yeah. And then Bill was, like, on the thing, he was like, what do you think of that guy? He was like, yeah, he's pretty cute, you Oh, know? was Bill trying to play matchmaker? Yes. I see. And then I actually ended up picking him, which was kind of funny. Huh. Mm-hmm. And why yeah, were like you pretty funny? <laughs> why, and why were you trying to play matchmaker? Because she says the kind of guy she likes. I'm like, well, that's a guy. Yeah, it so, makes yeah. sense. But like I said, I don't think that I'm in a spot where I want to do that right now. And okay. that's not fair. Alan, uh, the stripper Scott texted me. You can mm-hmm. probably figure out where this is going. I find it funny that a dude not paying for one beer is a turnoff coming from the chick who put an entire round of drinks for her friends on my tab. Are we still doing this, Scott? <laughs> are you? Are you? Because this happened. Oh, not only did this happen in 2018. Yep. I paid him back. Yep. And now you're still going to bitch about it? Yep. Okay. Well... Contextually, in this conversation, that's all he's got. I mean, he's of course he's going to bring that up because you know. God, that's so frustrating. But in your defense, right, you are still hammered all the time. I was in a full-blown blackout. Yes, of course. Why am I speaking for you? And then apologized, Mm -hmm. and then paid you back, and then publicly apologized to you on Twitter. Doesn't he contend that you didn't pay him back though? I put it on Venmo and sent it to I can screenshot it and post it right Does now. Does he have Venmo? Yes. I okay. made him make a Venmo to give him money. <laughs> you made him make a Venmo. He was like, I don't have Venmo. I was like, well, this is how you're going to get your money. How does a guy who uses so many hookers That's not have Venmo? Say, right? <laughs> That's what, I'm wow, sure that it's come cash. in handy since then. but And... That's different. I'm not screwing over uh, a bartender or server who was, you know, helping me all night by walking out on a tam and then having the the uh, bar or whatever have to comp it and stuff. Oh, sure. Make excuses. It's just Stripper Scott. Mm-hmm. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. He's going to read you for Phil. Huh? Yeah. Oh, hey. Look at this all coming together. Whatever. So the friend forgot. The friend is hitting me up. I totally forgot about the tab. Okay. So the friend. So the friend's okay. taking the bullet. Well, then oh, there you go. That. There you go. Well, then I apologize, Anthony. It also means, by the way, that the friend wasn't really drinking that much. If the guys have water, the friend had one beer. Yeah. They're not out getting crazy. They said they were going out afterward. But oh, I don't really I see. care what you do. do they didn't you want. want to, they probably didn't want to get uh, hammered in your presence. They wanted to be focused. <laughs> they wanted to be, yes. you know, figured out. Was the friend see. one of the other bachelors? No. Oh, okay. Hmm. No. You gonna let him spit roast? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but no, oh, I'm gonna God. say no for that. Uh, Ew! What is that? Tell it, me what that is. It can be an Eiffel Tower. I mean, if you really, if you want to go European Stop about it. it, no. I want it. The answer is no. Before I even know what it is, the of course, no. the answer but should I, be no. Finger know. cuffs. Ew! Whoa. The answer should Chinese be Chinese finger traps. Should be no. You get the coronavirus that way. By I don't the way, want those it. Chinese <laughs> finger traps. I don't want it. Made in Mexico. By the way, the coronavirus oh. now has an official name. The World Health Organization has given it uh, its own official name so you can stop calling it the coronavirus because it's the covid 19 you know all the science nerds they have to quantify it as something else so it's covid 19 very nice co stands for corona the vi stands for virus and the d stands for disease very scientific covid 19 covid 19 and then the like 19 because they said that 2019 was the year that it was first showing up in humans really mm-hmm. bad news by the way for an arizona cable company called covid oh mm-hmm. boy yeah that's so not good. unfortunately for them uh they're gonna have to tell people that uh Ah, I'm not too happy about it. I don't know. You don't know what any of those terms mean? Why would I know any well, of that? She's had because two boyfriends in her whole life. She's a comedian. Ah, she doesn't do spit roast material, I, do you? Yeah, what yes, about my material see, says any of I'm that? I'm not saying that it's your material. I'm saying it's been talked about a lot. I don't think so. Around, yeah. I also, I mean, I don't mean to sound like I'm on a high horse, so maybe I just won't say that. I was going to say I don't really associate with people who do that kind of material. I don't watch dirty comedy. I don't. I've never been a fan of that kind of stuff. In in just on like a like just being around comedy, 
you would know this, or just being alive, or just using I the context of it. I think that you're it. you're you're uh, casting a wide net there, thinking that everyone's as gross as you are. We don't all have Pornhub subscriptions, Bill. Do you uh, know? But you should. It's great. <laughs> do you know what an Eiffel Tower is? Yes. Well, sans the high five, that's a spit roast. If I'm not mistaken, I think. Yeah. An Eiffel Tower is just a spit roast with a high five. Oh, well, there's one in the front, one in the back. Okay. Yeah. And it's called that, of course, because you resemble a pig on a spit. spit. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I'm not a pig on a spit, and I will never be. Never? No. Nor should you be. Live your best, man. What about that is best for me? By the way, you don't have to do that. Some people aren't into those you kind of things. You want to die before trying that? Yes. I'm fine if I never do that. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that you, Pound Cake, have to die that without trying that. Why, well, well. You're going to die. <laughs> you're like, going to die right now. You're going <laughs> to die in eight years. That's what I'm saying. I had to get all my stuff. I, I have my bucket list, and it's almost all checked off. Good for you. You better get right to it. A sexual threesome. And there's no, plenty of women you. that would love to do that before they die. Well, I, I good for them. I'm not one of them. Shame. For me personally, I'm certainly, I don't have any judgment on people who do it. I have no interest in a two-guy situation. I don't think I do either. That's what it is for me. My threesome history has been chicks. Same. I have no interest Lame. with two guys. That's fine. I'm just, you do whatever you want you to try do. three guys. I have no <laughs> interest in a two-guy scenario. Right. I don't have any. I don't it's have about any. What the woman wants, Alan? I don't have any close <laughs> f- friends that close. I don't. Right. You know, that is, that is a very close friend. Like, hey, buddy. So yeah, I have a situation. And people do it, and again, no judgment. I mean, whatever you, you like. Whatever you like. Sounds kind of like judgment. It's not my thing. No. <laughs> no. Whatever you want. Judge yeah. Mick Jefferson. I think p- if people are being safe and everybody's signed off on it, I think you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. In with. However many willing partners you want. How Godspeed. How many pigs on a roast yeah. you need? DVD, wait, DVDA. Well, that, <laughs> that that's like that an means. acrobatic gym. That, that requires uh, an athletic level of resilience. That takes some mapping out. It does, <laughs> and it's one of those things that... Um, that's where you have, you know, where people complain about a generation of guys that watch too much porn and try to replicate stuff. That's where you get into the area of real women don't largely want to do this kind of stuff, you know. He spelled that out, and I was like, "What's David?" Or <laughs> <laughs> took me too long to. Look. I'm like, Do you mean I don't know. Wow, oh! <laughs> it's yeah. uh, it's uh, two I- in the cooter, two in the pooter. <laughs> so, oh, right. oh my god, you're yeah. so stretched out. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> it's uh, right. That's too much. Right. Why? Nobody would want to do that. So two in the fun bun, two in the mud gun. There you go. Is how you get right. Um, <laughs> so it's when guys, there are things that are super funny on Urban Dictionary. Yeah. You would never, we talk about them all the time. You yeah. know, the glass bottom boat. N- people don't do these things. No. But they're funny no. when you that create comes, the image in your head. And that comes from, uh, I learned about that from Orgasmo. Mm-hmm. The, the South Park creators made a movie about a Mormon missionary that started acting in porn, and one of the shots that they would continually call out is the DVDA shot. One mm-hmm. of the Perry Farrell songs yeah. on the soundtrack is called DVD. Exactly. He said, "Mary, oh, you're all you're all stretched out." That would be. That's uncomfortable. For like a couple a of minutes. Sexual threesome. You, get used you to want it. to stay in the, you, a couple of minutes. You want to stay in the business though. No, I'm good. I don't want to be in that business. Quick shout out though, Sal Two Trees came out last night. Pardon? Sal from Dairyman's. Oh, Dairyman Sal. He, he did. came out to pitch uh, Kitty's new. Um, what did you call him? Two Trees. That's his last name. Two Trees. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sal Two Trees. How have I never known Sal's last name? Sal I've literally Trees. never oh, known really? Sal's yeah. last name. Yeah. Sal okay. He was um he was pitching Kitty's new sex shop. She's got a. She's doing a whole side hustle with that. So he brought some toys and some oh. some candies and things. And he's gave always them out to the audience. And when he's been on the show, he's always. Um, well, Kitty was supposed to do it, but she wasn't. She was well. sick. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's always seemingly portrayed her as being a bit more prudish. I'm surprised that she. Well, this is a new thing she's got going on. And then <laughs> he was very very kind at the end of the date when we we were being serenaded and he came up and he poured us champagne flutes full of Dairyman's iced tea. Yeah. And it was a very nice toast. So it was very sweet. Who paid wow. for that? Uh, Sal, I would assume. Oh, okay. He brought the, the half liter. Hmm. 
So is it like one of these sex toy thing his wife's doing? Is it like one of these like pampered chef Tupperware type things? Yeah, yeah, I think so. A bunch of gals in the room. You have girlfriends over your house probably. But yeah, he was just out like, hey guys, if you're interested, we'll be doing this. Okay. He said he was selling the items out of his trunk last night. I don't know if that's how it's always going to happen. I would think he'd want to keep them a bit more sterilized. Yeah. I yeah. think they're in packages. And they're, yeah, they're oh, not like reusable. They weren't loose in yeah. the trunk? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I just got a garbage bag full of dildos here. Not even. They're just in the trunk. Reach in and grab them. <laughs> right. What are you, sous viding a bunch of carps? No, no, no. These are uh, they're vacuum sealed for freshness. Okay, let me break. We've got all that cleared up. Thank God. A lot of information there. No Mary Santora spit roast. Nope. From the sex auction. No, thank you. Fantastic. And always pay your bar tab. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. 35192 if you want to text. I'll have those Rage Against the Machine tickets for you closer to 420. Also, if you've been hitting me up uh, for the Incubus 311 show, I will have those for you later on, too. Uh, AlanCockShow.com. Plenty of things to look at there, and we'll be back after these. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app. WMMS.